I'm back, niche coach. Um, I was saying that um, when a person feels like it's ta they're taking your independence away, honey, that can tear up a whole home, baby. It was going to make this home that was once happy, it was going to make it real, real sad. And and it was it was my own insecurities. It was my own issue. He was actually joking. And I'm the jokester in the family, honey, but I didn't find any of that funny. For the first time, I felt beneath someone. I felt, um, I didn't feel strong. I felt very weak. That's what I wanted to say. I felt very, very weak. And I was just, I didn't know what to do. I didn't know whether to go get a job, honey, call my old clients back. I didn't know what I was supposed to do. All I knew was you can't talk to me like that. Never could you. And it took a while. It took a while for me to come to grips with, girl, you you ain't got no job. Like, you stay-at-home mom and you help run the businesses and things like that. But, baby, you don't clock in anywhere. Like, let's be real. And it just took me a minute for that to sink in. It took me a minute to understand and realize that I was truly a stay-at-home mom. And I just was like, girl, what you tripping for? Like, wh like, what are you fighting with this man for no reason? Like, you're bringing up stuff that don't even make sense. Like, be blessed. Mm -hmm. Be appreciative of your husband, not just a random, not just so anybody that your husband is taking care of you and your husband has provided a way for you, honey. Somebody somewhere can't even find theirs. OK. And so I had to realize, like, you're doing too much. And so one day he called me and I was at Marshall's. TJ Maxx. And he was like, what you doing? I said, nothing, spending your money. And so we both laughed and he was just like, what? There was a time that you would say that and you bite my head off. And he was absolutely right. And so I had to apologize for biting his head off all those times that he's, you know, if he would say it before um, or making him feel bad for saying something that was the absolute truth and something that he didn't mean any harm by but i'm gonna tell you when honey when you ain't never been loved correctly when you have never been taken care of correctly you don't know how to respond it's a fight or flight type situation your first response and your first thing girls i mean it's a trauma response and it's who you talking to what you mean i can't what you mean your money what do you mean what do you mean what do you mean and he wasn't saying anything wrong and he wasn't saying anything mean and he was not trying to make me feel less than or weaker than him he wasn't it was me it was my own trauma honey that i had gone through for years and what you wasn't gonna do is you know take me down to you know to nothing that man didn't say anything about nothing i was i was spending his money spending the hell out of it because what else was i gonna spend honey i had been blown through my little my little uh emergency fund you know but it just it takes you a moment to step back and realize when you are being in a situation correctly when you are being loved properly you know so i just want to stop and tell you guys that chill out you'll be all right i'll be right back